This is for the young survivalist. This is old school. About 50 something years ago, I was at a number 24 cast iron pot with a wooden paddle. So this is your lesson. It would pay for you to have a little cast iron skillet, maybe number three in your backpack or your survival pack. Or one of these canteens that has the metal pot to cook with or heat things up. Now, when you're cooking lard, pig lard, you have cracklings that bull up. But you ever get in a situation where you can cook animal fat, it is a necessity that you can use on your survival situation. Not only when it solidifies, that's a big word for a hillbilly, but when it hardens up, not only can you use it for things because it's not bacon fat, but animal fat cooks up without salt in it. Okay? You can use it to keep your knives from rusting. Like I said, you can eat it if you've got to eat it for survival. But you can pack it. You can tote it because it hardens up. Not real hard. Not only that, if you got one of these, look how it shines it up. Keeps it from rusting. The best way I can tell you, since you're not going to be cooking hog fat with the skin on it, where the cracklings come up and you skim them off, which you'll have to pay attention if you cook that animal fat in this or that over there, is you'll have to wait until it liquefies. Use water with the animal fat to get it going. Put water in there and then put your animal fat in there. Once it cooks down, it'll liquefy. Then you got to let it cool so it hardens to the white. Well, oh, there's something else I'm going to show you. Take a piece of your she-shirt, your cotton t-shirt, and now you have light. Remember, animal fat not only can you eat it, cook with it, tote it, you can have candles. They're nice, Storm, I made pig lard candles. Animal fat. We'll do the same thing. That's a big survival bullet in your survival arsenal. I wanted to give this to you because I had forgotten in some of my survival videos to tell you what all you can do with it. You could probably even put it on your leather boots. But in your arsenal of survival stuff, You'll need this to cook it down. And remember how I said to cook it down now. Since you're not going to have pig fat for the cracklings to boil up, you're going to have to watch it. And when it liquefies, then you take it off the fire and you set it off to the side or you pour it in the containers that you're going to be packing and let it solidify. Ooh, that big word for a hillbilly. Anyways, that's all right. What did I say? You can cook candles. Oil your guns. Because it doesn't have salt in it, it's animal fat. Wild man's tip, that's old school. If anything, keep it in your memory in case you ever have a situation that's going to call for a survival situation. And this will be a big plus in your survival pack. Wild man out, baby. Keep slamming and jamming. Never give up.